Welcome to the filling out the article ESA form. When you are working through your digital literacy online research guide, after filling out and performing the search and filling out the web page ESA under evaluating web pages, you will come next to the article tab. So if you click on that, um, it will ask you to perform a search in an article database, then refine your results, and then finally calculate the article ESA after doing that. So we will work through each one of these steps. So first, go to the perform search and go to the library homepage. After you've done that, if you go to the databases link, and, and select the first database you come to, which is Academic Search Complete. Um, I'm going to do the same search that I did in the web page search. So I'm going to type in Freedom of Speech. Then I'm going to put double quotes around that. That means I'm searching for freedom of speech as a phrase or those three words in that specific order. Then I'm gonna locate that in the um, university college environment. So I'm gonna type in college and put an asterisk, which means I will be searching for the plural and singular form of college. Combine that with an or, type in university. And again, put the asterisk to find the plural and singular form of university. Then last, combine with an or, higher education. And then put double quotes around that so that I search for that as a phrase as well. Now note, um, I do all the same things in this article search that I did in my web page search. So combining words or phrases with an and is the same as doing an all search. Um, putting double quotes around two or more words, that is the same as doing a phrase search. And then combining terms with an or is the same as doing an any search. So all of those same things I did with the exception, I added the asterisk. So I submit my search. Um, and the next thing that we do uh, in this is refine results. So when I look at my results and I go to refine results, which is the column on the left-hand page, I have many options. Um, you will need to find the full text of each article that you look at. So clicking the full text is, is necessary for this particular assignment. Um, you notice that you have the option of limiting to scholarly peer-reviewed journals. You have the option of limiting by date. And then you also have the option of limiting by source type. Now, if I decided I wanted to look for magazines, I could click on magazines. Um, and once I did that, we can look at an example of a magazine. The right to free speech versus the right to censor. And notice um, one of the things that you are asked in your, um, your ESA chart for articles is, when was the article published? So if I go back to my results and look at the, the, look at the um, list of results that I get, um, the date should be listed clearly um, at near the top of each um, result that I get. Now, if I did not find, the re find it looking through the list of my results, if I click on the article title, 
you will notice that Brian Walsh is listed as an author. And if you wanted to, um, and then under that there is source. So that tells the publication itself time and then also the date it was published. If I go back to the chart, um, the next thing it asks is um, whether the author has ever written about this topic before. So looking at that um, detailed record um, and clicking on Brian Walsh's name, you get a pretty long list of articles that Brian Walsh has written. And quite a few of those, not all of them, but a lot of them are for Time Magazine, although he has written for other, other publications as well. Now, when I look at this, I do not see that besides this um, free speech versus right to censor, that he has written on anything that um, um, is equivalent to writing on free speech or First Amendment. So you could go back to your chart and say, no, the author has, has not written on this topic before. Um, next, it asks whether the author works for a college or university or, a journal, or is a journalist. And in this case, um, since Brian Walsh is writing for Time Magazine, If you click on Time Magazine and look at the information for the magazine itself, it says that it is a periodical and uh, it is a news periodical. So in that case, you could look at your um, chart and say that he is an author and that the magazine itself is a popular magazine. So if you see that, that they're working, that the author writes for a magazine and that, the, that it is a popular magazine, then you can say that the author is a journalist. Now, if I decide that I do not want to limit to magazines, but I would indeed instead like to um, um, limit by scholarly peer-reviewed, um, we can look at some choices that would ensue from that. So one choice that we could see um, is this one. Um, free speech rights of university students. And again, this is in Minnesota Law Review. And if we click on that, um, it says that it is an academic journal. And indeed, it is peer reviewed. So on your chart, you could click um, um, academic journal and also peer reviewed. Next, um, if we go back to the detailed record, you notice that uh, Mary Rose Papandrea has her name um, hyperlinked and we can look at a list of things she has written. And generally she's written for law reviews. So she's written about the law. And as you go down that list, you do notice that she has written about free speech before. And also First Amendment. And if you keep looking, um, you notice that there are probably several instances where you could say that she has um, written about free speech in various contexts. So you could go back to your chart and say the author has written about this topic before and probably has written about this topic more than three times. So you could choose more than three times. Um, the other thing that you will notice if you go back to the Papandreou um, record and then uh, go to the full text is that her name has a symbol by it. And if you go to the bottom of this page, 
You can see that it says she is an Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and Professor of Law at the University of North Carolina School of Law. So you can list that she works um, at, works for a college and call it, uh, she works for a university. Um, so for her article, um, she has written about the topic before. She works for a university. Um, the article is peer-reviewed and an academic journal. Now, to figure out whether it has a bibliography reference section or footnotes, um, when you look at that full text, you notice that uh, references are, appear at the bottom of the first page in, in numerical order. And then when you go to the second page, those references continue again in numerical order. So if your references or citations appear at the bottom of the page, that means it has a foot that it's um, those references are in footnote form. So you could say has footnotes. Um, if we look at another example of an academic article, in this case, free speech slurs rights versus respect, um, you notice again you can look to see what the author has written about. In this case, does not look like they have written about that free speech topic before, even though all the things that they've written about are for higher education. Um, so you could go back to your chart and say, this author has never written about this topic before. Um, the authors, if you go back and then go to the full text, you see that again, um, the authors are listed as working for the Department of Higher Education and Learning Technologies at Texas A&M. So again, your chart, you would say that the author works for a college and university. And if you looked at the, um, if you go back to the detailed record and look at the college student journal, it is an academic journal and it is peer reviewed. So you go to your chart and you say academic peer reviewed. And then last, you have to determine whether it has a bibliography or reference section. So when you look at the full text and go to the bottom of this page, you will see that it has a references list. So on your chart, you could say, yes, this has a references list section. So that's the essentials of filling out the article ESA form. If you have any questions about the article ESA form um, or the process for filling it out, you can email me through your course site um, um, inbox and um, I wish you success and good luck on this assignment. Thank you.